This is the Kia EV6 GT. So it's the highest available trim level with a crazy amount of performance in comparison to something like the regular GT line instead. Now, because this is the GT, it's got some highlights that you're just not gonna find inside of any of the other trim levels of the vehicle. Starting off, 21 inch wheels that are gonna be standard inside of this thing, along with your bright green painted calipers, which like I said, looks really sharp. But this thing loaded with technology. Side view mounted cameras for blind view monitor, but there's also utilizing the rear mounted camera, so backup camera, and the forward facing camera for a full 360 view. So this thing, forward facing camera there as well, to get that full view. You're going to have LED headlamps inside of this thing regardless, but I mean, look at this black on black style. Oh, that looks sharp. You've got your Kia badge right in the very middle. And I said LED headlamps there and so much. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful interior with sport bucket seats. This is the EV6 that you want to look at if performance is your go-to, like if that's what you're looking for. But got this nice glossy highlight along the door, mirrors through the bottom part, power folding, side view mirrors that are standard in most trim levels of the vehicle. Basic window controls, upgraded Meridian sound system. So you've got speakers all over the place that are different than the traditional sound system inside of this thing. Just on the inside, Nice highlight that wraps all the way through the entire dash. Increase or decrease the brightness of the cluster screen if you want to. You can open and close the charge door, open and close the lift gate, parking brake, and then there's also the traction control system as well. The steering wheel inside of this thing is gonna be manual telescoping across the entire lineup. Like I said, I love the look of the seat inside of the GT. Look at this thing. Manual seats though, that's the only kicker is because they were trying to get rid of all the extra electronic components that could potentially affect the overall performance inside of this thing. So your manual seat, manual up and down, manual for the backrest, but sport bucket, comfort seat. Really nice. Now a few things. You might have the power, well, you're gonna have the smart power lift gate inside of this thing. So as long as you've got the fob on you, it'll technically open up itself or you could just do it yourself, but there is a boatload of space back here. This thing, it does have the cargo shade standard there. Tire mobility kit just underneath. You've also got your charge cable on top of that. Off to the right side, got a release for the second row seat. Same idea, release for the second row seat and then also a 12 volt power point back there, but drop down to a fairly flat fold and a great amount of cargo space. So surprising amount, which is really, really nice. You need the space, it's there. Love it. Second row inside of this thing, equally as impressive as the first. You can see that upgraded Meridian audio system there. Heated second row seats are gonna be standard inside of this thing as well when you get into some of the higher trims of the vehicle. If you've got kids, not a big problem. So you've got top tether points. The seat technically locked down until you release in order to lift up. So hold on, this is a tricky process with one hand. Uh, there we go. But tether points are there. Anchor points are down below. You've got cup holders that are going to be standard across the board. And then on the inside, so you can kind of see a little bit of a seat recline as possible. So the same lever that we would use in order to fold the seat down, you can also lift that to recline. Inside of the lower trims of the vehicle, in behind the first row seats, you would have some mat pockets that are available, just not here because it's the GT. And one other thing, because it's the GT, typical Kia styling, you would normally have USB power points there, but those are just down the armrest instead. I mean, there's this ton of space that's available inside of this thing. But one thing that I love about the GT little sunroof up overhead. Can't see it at all on the outside, but this thing is really, really nice. Like, look at this. Beautiful. You've got that nice stitching that follows all the way throughout the steering wheel. 
a unique GT badge there. So you've got a custom mode that you can select or you can go between a series of pre-done drive modes. So sport mode and things like that. It's going to affect the overall driving dynamics inside the vehicle. Really nice. Series of controls in order to use your smart cruise control system or navigate through the little cluster screen. And then this, a few different basic mode buttons to jump between presets and a few other things, change songs, radio stations, and things like that. But if you want to walk through on how to use all the different buttons, move through the cluster screen or the media screen, look down in the description of this video. Now, one thing you might just be able to make out there. Look at that. This thing has a head-up display that's going to be standard inside of the vehicle. So especially in the GT version of the vehicle. So there's a few trims that have it, but it is a really, really nice option. Inside of the screen, it does have factory navigation inside of it, but you could use Google Maps, Apple Maps, or Waze if you're hooked up through Apple phones, or you could use Google Maps if you're hooked up through Android. It's a wired connection, so USB, wired connection, but you've got a few USB power points. So traditional USB, USB Type-C, another USB-C, and then 12 volt power point with a nice amount of storage space there. But there's so much functionality to the screen. Is it factory navigation, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay support, series of other great features that are available there as well. Moving down, options for climate control or push a button there in order to get to your map, navigation, and a few other things instead. So like just different hot button presses. But I love that it's kind of like either or. It's either volume control, tuning rocker, or dual zone climate control instead. See there, got heated seats that are available, heated steering wheel, in some of the other trims of the vehicle, you also would have the option for ventilated first row seats. It's just that inside of these seats, you're strictly looking at that heated option only. Push button start inside of this thing, but I mean, I love the metallic highlights. So this highlights the same across the entire vehicle lineup. And so are the highlights that run throughout the dash there too. Down the center stack, same idea with our shifter. So park reverse neutral drive into your parking gear there as well. It's kind of neat. But this is even better. Look at this. 360 look out. I honestly, I love the way that Kia vehicles feature this. It just looks so, so cool because you can have your traditional view or like this 360 view as you move. Really, really neat. Get a few cup holders top of that. So you've got your button for your 360 camera, auto hold setting, parking brake, wireless charge pad. And then this thing also has an armrest with a nice amount of storage space. All right, we got to do an audio test inside of this thing. So I'm going to use some USB music here. Plug ourselves in down below. And then... Okay, hold on. Okay, so what we're going to do, we've got USB going. I've got the audio down to nothing right now. So I'm just going to kind of crank it as we go. But listen to this. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Today's gonna be a good day. Oh, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do the Okay. And that's at half volume. And that's because of the upgraded Meridian sound system that you're gonna get inside of this thing. So the regular EV6, so it's essentially like everything below the GT line. So it's like GT line package one and down is going to be a six speaker system. But then you've got the Meridian upgraded audio system instead. I mean, you heard there the sound inside of this thing. Not the preparation, the food got no blood in circulation. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set it Amazing. Up overhead, there's an auto dimming rear view mirror. Controls for, got a few different things there. So you can see SOS and tow mode as we've got chaos going on behind us there. Chaos, chaos, but SOS and tow mode. And then a few basic controls for cabin lights. And then this is for your sunroof. So you could vent it out if you want to, or open it up instead. Let there be light. Durham Kia, amazing dealership to work with. But if you're after an EV6, you want to reach out to these guys. So you can easily open and close the shade, whatever the case may be. And then you've got your cabin control lights overhead there, visor, vanity mirror built in, cabin control light, which is going to be standard, as well as an assist handle. But I'm, assist handle, I guess it helps if you see it. <laughs> There's so much to this vehicle. 
but I honestly think that Kia has done a phenomenal job. Like I love all of the highlights inside of the GT. This badge, this really, really solid. I like it. One other thing to point out. I love the Meridian system. All right, along the back here, see Kia badge, EV6 badge along the side with your GT badge. Charge door, it's just along the back here. And then you've got obviously level one, level two's charge support with the option for level three as well. Charge times are all over the place depending on which model of the vehicle that you're in. Uh, you've got this, which is a little charge indicator light. So how full is the battery as you're charging? You've also got this little guy to be able to shut the charge door automatically, which is kind of cool. Uh, a few things like you're not going to find inside of this thing. You're not going to find a rear wiper in it whatsoever. It's the same way across the entire EV6 lineup, but there's the reverse sensing system. So you can make out the sensors there. Backup camera is always going to be there. On top of that, side view mirrors, you've got the blind spot monitoring system. I did mention you've got your side mounted cameras as part of that 360 build, but it's a lot of information, but that's the basics of the Kia EV6 GT. If you're looking for a walkthrough on the infotainment screen or the inside or a full walkthrough on the EV6, you'll find it down in the description of the video. But if you're looking at picking up an EV6 or any other Kia vehicle, Durham Kia out in Oshawa, right across from the Mandarin, is the way to go.